There is just six races remaining now in the World Championship battle between Mercedes driver Lewis Hamilton and Ferrari driver Sebastian Vettel. Just who will come out on top of the end of 2018? Find out in this video. The 2018 season really has just flown by. We've already completed 15 races this season. And after those 15 races, it's Lewis Hamilton who currently leads the World Championship by 40 points from Sebastian Vettel. But how did we get to this point? With Hamilton, let's go back to the start of 2018. Now in the first four races, it was kind of up and down for Lewis. Australia, for example, was a very good race weekend. Even though he did not get the win he clearly deserved. His pace then in Bahrain and China did fall off a bit. Especially in Shanghai, which is a track where Lewis normally is very, very good. But then his pace for Baku did slightly improve as he went on to win. But was lucky to win because of Valtteri Bottas' late puncture. Lewis was definitely not yet at his best. And neither really was the Mercedes car. As in the first four races, they were clearly behind Ferrari. But as we came to Europe, their pace did improve. Where at the Spanish Grand Prix, Lewis Hamilton won the race and Mercedes got a 1-2. But it did coincide at that race with Pirelli bringing tyres that did suit the Mercedes car. Then in Monaco and Canada, Lewis in both races went on to finish behind Vettel. As it was still clear at this point that Lewis was not at the top of his game. The pace of the Mercedes though would improve for the triple header in the middle of the summer. This coincided with Lewis's performances starting to get better. For example, at the French Grand Prix where he dominated that weekend and took his third race win of 2018. But even though in Austria and Silverstone, Mercedes and Hamilton did have very good pace, they were quite unlucky. First in Austria where Hamilton had to retire from the race with reliability issues. Then at the start of his home race was hit by Kimi Raikkonen putting him down to the back of the grid, resulting in two unsatisfying results. And after qualifying at the German Grand Prix where Lewis Hamilton had a reliability issue, which meant he was going to have to start near the back of the grid, it was not looking good for Hamilton. He was now not the favourite in the title battle. But in the title fight, Hockenheim was a clear turning point. As after Vettel's mistake and Lewis Hamilton's brilliant driving, he somehow won. This is where we see the best of Lewis in 2018. As after that in Hungary, he produced an amazing performance. One to get pole position on the Saturday and to hold on for the race win on the Sunday. Another vital victory for Lewis. The Mercedes car though had to improve if he was going to maintain this momentum. And after the summer break, it did. At Spa, yes, Ferrari and Vettel came out on top. But at Ferrari's home race in Singapore, Hamilton was truly mesmerising. First, brilliantly snatching the win away from Ferrari in Italy and then producing one of the best performances of his career in Singapore. His pole position lap in Singapore might be one of the best I have ever seen. It was a true example of why Lewis is one of the all-time greats, and the way he controlled and also won the race was very, very impressive. Lewis is a master of performing when it matters most, which is exactly what Lewis has done. As with six races left, he leads the World Championship by 40 points. He's had 7 race wins and 7 pole positions in 2018, in a car that for most of this season has not been the best. He's also had 12 podiums and has 281 points, and is now the clear favourite in this title battle going forward. But just how has Vettel ended up 40 points behind? Let's go back to the start of 2018. Vettel started the season very well by winning the first two races, even though he was very lucky to win in Melbourne, but then had unsuccessful results in both Shanghai and Baku, mainly down to mistakes from Ferrari but also the driver, as Vettel did make a mistake going for the lead in Baku. Ferrari in those two races missed out on a lot of important points, and as we came to Europe that continued, as again this time in Spain because of the poor Ferrari strategy they wasted more points. But after a good race in Monaco and a very good race in Canada where he won, Vettel and Ferrari were getting back in the swing of things. But in the first half of the triple header, Vettel made another mistake, taking Bottas out on the first lap at Turn 1. Again, more points cost. In respect to the championship though, Austria was a good race. 
where Hamilton did not finish the race and Vettel finished in P3. A big 15 point gain on Lewis. Then at Silverstone for me came Vettel and Ferrari's best moment of 2018. Winning on Lewis Hamilton's home turf. Something that was not expected. And this for me so far is Vettel's best race of 2018. That move on Bottas for the win was incredible. That is what Vettel is at his best. And it looked as though Vettel and Ferrari would now take charge of this championship. Because honestly for most of the 10 races up to this point Ferrari did have the best car. And just needed to further capitalise on that to win the title. But then came Hockenheim. The moment it all went wrong for Vettel. Making a key mistake in crashing out of his home race when dominating and leading. This has definitely turned the championship on its head. As Vettel and Ferrari since this race have not recovered. And here is the evidence. In Hungary Vettel would go on to lose to Lewis Hamilton. At a track where Ferrari should have dominated. But Mercedes produced when it mattered. Now Spa was clearly a good moment for Vettel. Taking a commanding victory over Hamilton. And showing off just how fast the Ferrari car is. But it gets worse from here on in. Ferrari had a front row lockout for their home race in Italy. But all around team and driver again bottled it. After Vettel made some costly contact with Lewis Hamilton on the first lap. And went on to finish in a disappointing fourth. And it was way more disappointing in Singapore where Vettel and Ferrari failed to perform. As Vettel in qualifying cost himself at least a front row with his own mistakes. And then Ferrari cost Vettel P2 in the race because of their own strategy mistakes. Ferrari and Vettel continue to invent ways to throw away points. I just wonder how they're going to throw it away next. And because of mistakes from team and driver Vettel is now 40 points behind Hamilton. It's a travesty considering how fast the car is. Vettel has had 5 race wins and 5 pole positions. With also 9 podiums and 241 points. Time is for sure running out for Vettel. But for the remaining 6 races how will things play out? Let's just go through the remaining races shall we? First off is Russia. Now last year Ferrari did have the advantage in qualifying. As they just about locked out the front row. And when it comes to qualifying pace I do think that Ferrari will have the advantage. But last year Mercedes did improve when it came to the race. And I would not be surprised if that happened again. In Russia it really could be too close to call between these two teams. Then we are going to the famous Suzuka circuit. Where last year Mercedes clearly had the best car. Now their race pace wasn't too special as they almost got beat by Max Verstappen for the victory. But they had the best car during the weekend. And I wouldn't be surprised if they did again. Ferrari at Suzuka will certainly be closer to Mercedes than they were last year. But maybe not close enough to win the race. But as we know from his Red Bull days, Vettel is very good at Suzuka. So in no way should Vettel be counted out in Suzuka. Then after that we're heading to North America. And the US Grand Prix in Austin. Now I think at Cota that Ferrari should have the fastest car. It really does suit what is good about the 2018 Ferrari. But in the race I'm not sure if they can get the win. As this is a very good Lewis Hamilton track. But in Mexico in qualifying and the race it's Ferraris to lose. When it comes to pace Ferrari should beat Mercedes in Mexico. I'd actually be quite surprised if they didn't. And Mercedes struggling in Mexico would not be a massive shock. Even when they won the race in 2015 and 2016 their car never looked comfortable. It's just not a good Mercedes track. Then F1 for the penultimate race of the season heads to Brazil. Out of the remaining 6 tracks this one suits the Ferrari the most. Interlagos is very much about power. And as we know Ferrari has a lot of that. But because of the short lap it should still be close between Ferrari and Mercedes. Mercedes in Brazil will be praying for rain. That's their best chance of winning the Brazilian Grand Prix. Then of course we have the final race in Abu Dhabi. This one should go to Mercedes. They have dominated here since 2014. And last year Ferrari just could not get close. And if the title battle somehow goes down to this final race. Ferrari are going to have to show something special. But guys there are a couple more factors for the final 6 races. How will Vettel and Hamilton's teammates affect the championship? Let's first start off with Kimi Raikkonen. 
Now for Kimi, when it comes to the last six races on the calendar, they don't massively suit him. His best tracks are probably Russia and Brazil, but he's rarely been amazing at these tracks like for example he has been at Spa. But he will be very determined to win his final race for Ferrari. Kimi will desperately want that final win. And Bottas will desperately want his first win of 2018. Something he really should have had by now. He just has not yet had the luck to get a victory. He was so unlucky in Baku where his tyre blew up. He was very deserving of winning that race. And the good news for Valtteri is that there is a couple tracks coming up that do suit him. For example, the next race in Russia, where last year he got his first win. Don't be surprised if he is very competitive and is also good in Yas Marina, which again is the final circuit on the calendar. And if Red Bull at the Mexican Grand Prix can be very competitive, their two drivers can have an effect on this title battle, just like they did last year. But guys, now this is who I think will win the remaining races. Make sure in the comments to put down your picks. I'm going for a Lewis Hamilton win in both Russia and Japan. I just think that his momentum will keep on going. But then I'm going for Vettel for the US, Mexican and Brazilian Grand Prix. Ferrari should have a fast enough car for these races. And I also think Vettel will win these races because there will be less pressure on him at that point. As the title by the US Grand Prix will basically be decided. And then I'm going with Lewis Hamilton to win the final race in Abu Dhabi. And win his fifth world championship. I think Lewis will win the title either the US or Mexican Grand Prix. About the same time as last season. So for the remaining races it is Hamilton's to lose. Is there any way Vettel can come out on top? We will know very soon. But anyway guys that has been it for this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Don't forget guys I'll be back on Thursday with a Russian Grand Prix preview. And as well guys don't forget to join my Discord server. There's a link below down in the description also with my Twitter and my website. Comment down below what you thought of this video and comment down below who do you think will win the 2018 title. Please comment down below what you think about those topics and until next time it's been me Chazer HD. goodbye.